Hey there everyone, Decadent Gamer here, and today I'm going to be giving you the Q&A video! That should have been uploaded two months ago! Yeah! Okay, so for those who don't know, a few months ago I hit 30 subscribers and I said I would do a Q&A video. But at the time, I didn't have all the equipment I needed to film live action segments. So I had to put the project on hold and work on other things at the time. But now I have most of the things I need to do live action videos. I say most because I'm missing one more piece of equipment. But uh, for the most part, I have everything I need to do a Q&A video. So I thought it would be good to finally go down and answer you guys' questions you guys sent in to me in the video. I got a lot of good questions, and I want to feel more connected with my viewers, so what better way than to answer them on film? So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the questions, shall we? The kid to 100 asked, what top 10s will you do? Well, I'm going to do a whole variety of top 10s, from characters, games, uh, weapons, anything that I can think of. Like, I have lots of ideas for top 10s already in my head, it's just that I have so little time to do them, so it's like, er, what should I do first, you know? <laughs> but yeah, expect to see a variety of top 10s from me in the future. Mr. Whiteface asks, what is your favorite Soul Calibur game? Also, what do you think of Tekken 7? Okay, so my favorite Soul Calibur game. Hmm, that's an interesting question. Um, I'm going to have to go with Soul Calibur 3. I know that everyone says Soul Calibur 2 is their favorite, and don't get me wrong, it's a really great game. I enjoyed that game to pieces, but I played it pretty late in its lifespan. So, I had, at the most, I spent only like a few months playing that game before Soul Calibur 5 was announced. I meant Soul Calibur 5, I meant Soul Calibur 3. <laughs> and, uh... Soul Calibur did the most content in any Soul Calibur game at the time. I mean, even today, I can't say it at the time because Soul Calibur 5 was... <laughs> I don't even want to get started on that one. But Soul Calibur 3 had tons of replay value. It had lots of boats to play from. It had lots of characters. And also, it introduced character creation. And well, you know how I am with character creation at this point. So yeah, Soul Calibur 3 just had more things that piqued my interest. Uh, I would have said Soul Calibur 5, but the problem with it is that it had a terrible story, dumbed down gameplay, and it just... I mean, if you see my review for the game, you know where I stand with it. And it's just... It was just a big disappointment. That's all I can think of. A big disappointment. Uh, and 4, well... 4 was just... mediocre at best. So yeah, 3 would be my first choice for Soul Calibur. And it turns my favorite Soul Calibur game. And I'm hoping that it gets an HD release. Come on, Namco. Uh, now for your second question about Tekken 7. I'm excited for it, really. I mean, when it first was announced, I was really, really hyped. And then when I saw the character reveals for new characters, I was like, eh, I don't know how to feel about this. And then we saw Lucky Chloe, and it's Lucky Chloe, come on. Or Lucky Chloe, I don't know if I'm saying her name right. But uh, yeah, the main selling point at that point, after I saw her and where the game was going with the rage arts and all that stuff, like, I told myself that if Nina makes it in the game, I will get it. Um, for those who don't know, like, Nina is my main character in all the Tekken games. I've played her since Tekken 2, and she's been my main girl since then. So, yeah, she was my ride or die kind of character. <laughs> and she made it in, so, yeah, that means I'm gonna get it. I'm not getting it on day one release, though, but, uh, I'm gonna wait a while. Uh, but yeah, like, I'm genuinely excited for this game. Thomas Garrett asks, will you be making a Twitter account anytime soon? Actually, I already have a Twitter account. I'll post a link to it in the description box. Neon320 asked, Have you ever played a Ninja Gaiden game? Uh, I played one Ninja Gaiden game before. Um, it was one that my brother got for the PS3. I think it was Ninja Gaiden Sigma. Uh, I played it, I didn't play a lot of it, but from what I played, it was fun. I just haven't got around to playing the game in full. I do want to get into the series and play more of them, so yeah. Terrence Young asked three questions. One, will we get a face reveal? Two, most anticipated game of the year. Three, do you attend school and what year are you in? Well, here's my face, so <laughs> does that count? <laughs> okay, so your second question, my most anticipated game of the year, it would have to be Ratchet & Clank 2016. As you all know, the game had a reboot that came out in April or March, like, it was one of those months, I think it was April. But that was a game I was really looking forward to because I'm a huge Ratchet & Clank fan. And people who know me already know that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, 
That was the game I was looking forward to, worth every penny. I will review the game at some point in the future when I tackle the Ratchet & Clank series, so don't ask. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Uh, but yeah, besides that, uh, nothing else really. And also, am I in school? No, I am not in school currently. Fenton567 asks, Who is your favorite Ratchet & Clank character? And what are your favorite Ratchet & Clank games? Favorite character? Ooh, that's a tough one, because Ratchet & Clank is full of good characters. Like, I can't think of one bad character in the series. Well, if I had to choose one, I do like Ratchet, our main character. Like, he's fun, he's laid back, he's a gamer. <laughs> it seems like it'd be cool to have a game night with him. But, uh, okay, maybe you want someone who's not a main character. So, uh... Jeez, this is a good question. <laughs> uh... Oh! I think I'm going to go with Angela Cross. She was a character from Ratchet & Clank Going Commando, the second Ratchet & Clank game on the PS2. I thought she was hilarious, like I loved her to death. I just really loved that character so much. And I'm so disappointed that she didn't come back in the later games. I mean, she did get a mention in a Kraken Time on the radio, but that's not really the same thing. So yeah, I would go with Angela Cross. But don't get me wrong, every character in the game is really 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 good. So yeah, that was a really good question. Hard but good. <laughs> And my favorite Ratchet and Clank game? Ooh, that's another tough one. I feel it would be a tie between Ratchet and Clank Going Commando and A Crack in Time. But I'm leaning more towards A Crack in Time because that game was just. Whew. I don't know. Like, that game was something else. Like, one of the best 3D platformers I've ever played. So, I think I'll go with A Crack in Time. Alien XJ07 asks What's your favorite game? Well, okay. Other than Ratchet & Clank that I just mentioned in the last question, I'm really into a lot of 3D platform games, so... I'm talking games like Spyro the Dragon, only the first few, uh, Jack & Daxter, Crash Bandicoot... Uh, I like some Sonic games. Uh, those are more on a teeter-totter scale, if anything, but yeah, like Sonic is a good... I do enjoy Sonic, though. Um, I like Tekken... Those are the general ones I really like, but believe me, I have a ton of favorite games. It's just that I can't think of more off the top of my head. But I hope that answers your question. <laughs> anime Freak for the Win asked, Do you watch anime? If you do, what's your favorite? Also, where are you from? Okay, do I watch anime? Uh, yeah, I watch anime, but I'm not as heavily into it like I was when I was in middle school and uh, my freshman year of high school. But yeah, I do enjoy anime. I just don't watch it as much as I used to, but... Uh, if I were to give you my top six anime, or my top six favorite anime, I would give it to Cabo Bebop, uh, Fullmetal Alchemist, including Brotherhood. Brotherhood a lot more. Um, Case Closed, also known as Detective Conan, Yu Yu Hakusho, Witch Hunter Robin, and, uh, I don't know, Digimon. I know Digimon is more of a kiddish anime, but really, the first three seasons were really good. In fact, I think it was even better than the Pokemon anime. It was so better written, in terms of plot anyway. Um, and where am I from? I am from California, but I currently live in Nevada. Kari Kawai asks, Have you ever played Tekken before? I've heard you mention things about it, but never really go into detail about for reasons explained in this video. If you do or have, are you looking forward to Tekken 7 in March 2017? And do you like the customization in the Tekken franchise? Sorry the question is so long. Hey Kari, no problem. Uh, yes, I am a huge Tekken fan. My first Tekken game was Tekken 2, but the first Tekken game I ever owned was Tekken 3. And I've played the games consecutively since then. The series was great, like, lots of good characters, some of the best fighting animations I've ever seen in a fighting game. The story is... okay. It's a fighting game, so what do you expect? But yeah, like, I just like the overall style of it. Sure, it went a little south in Tekken 6 with characters like Alyssa and Lars, but we get past them, like, the series is still great. Um, so for Tekken 7, like I answered in a previous question, yeah, I'm generally excited for Tekken 7. Again, I was a little iffy with it at first, but when I saw more of it, I got really excited for it. Do I like the customization in the game? Okay, this is where it kind of falters a bit. Tekken has always had some really strange customization. Like, well not strange, just very limited it feels like. 
well, compared to, say, Soul Calibur. I feel like the customer edition was at its best in Tekken 6. Yeah, because the clothes fit the characters better. They had more variety. See, the problem I have with Tekken Tag 2's customer edition was that the clothes, they went really lazy with the clothes. Like, for one, shoes and pants or shoes and skirts are automatically glued together instead of separate items like they were in Tekken 6. And I just found that very lazy. Because some of the parades look really bad. And also, one thing I do want though, I'm hoping that at some point, they do add in character creation in the Tekken. I made a video about this, so if you haven't seen the video, I think you should watch it if you think character creation would work in Tekken. I'll leave a link in the description video if you're curious. Thanks for your question, Kari. Neil Hagen asked, Have you ever considered opening a channel for film reviews or video rips in general? Or as well, my bad, sorry. Also, will you ever do full co-op reviews with someone in the future? Hey there, Neil. First, I want to thank you for staying so supportive with my channel. Like, I've noticed you've been with my channel for a very long time, and for that, I want to thank you. So thank you for staying tuned and watching my videos. <laughs> it's nice to know that someone out there really enjoys them. So thanks again. And answer your question now. Uh, film reviews? No, not really, because I don't have the attention span to slug through a movie and make it entertaining. But I have thought about doing TV show reviews, so cartoons, TV shows, things like that, like, I'm gonna probably start doing that next year. I'll probably start something called Animation Corner or something like that, but, uh, yeah. Film reviews, no. TV shows, yes. So stay tuned for those in the future. Uh, for your second question, co-op reviews. Um, yes, I would love to do a co-op review sometime in the future, uh, but right now, I don't think I'm ready yet. I'm still trying to find my style because I'm kind of shy talking on camera. So I'd rather just wait until I'm a little bit more experienced and then after that, I will seek out some people to do co-ops with. Who, I'm not sure. I have a few that I want to do in mind, but I don't think they'll work with me. <laughs> but yeah, we'll have to see. Thanks for your question, Neil. Canadian Turtle asks, what are some of your favorite movies? And number two, what are your favorite and least favorite video game genres? As for favorite and least favorite video game genres, okay, for favorites, I like 3D platformers, fighting games, and action adventure games, plus hack and slash. So, yeah, those are my, those are the kind of games I play the most of. The occasional action RPG, but that's really only one game, and that's Kingdom Hearts, and yeah. Um, okay, so for least favorites, uh, I don't really like sports games. Like, I like the Marvel themed sports games, but not games like Madden or Viva or, you know, games like that. Like, they don't interest me. First person shooters are probably the biggest ones I don't care for. Like, I know it's gonna really upset some people, probably, but they just don't appeal to me. There's only one first person shooter game I actually liked, and that was 007 on a Nintendo 64. But um, besides that, they're not my cup of tea. I find them very boring after a few minutes of playing them, so I generally don't play those games. Nintendo Girl asks, by the way, I really love your name. Anyway, Nintendo Girl asks, are you familiar with the first two Banjo Kazooie games? If so, who are your favorite characters besides Banjo, Kazooie, or Bumbo? My favorite characters of Banjo Tooie are Mr. Welder and Mr. Patch. Hey, Nintendo Girl. Um, honestly, I have never played a Banjo Kazooie game in my life. But believe me, I really do want to play this series. I've seen enough gameplay to know I'm going to really enjoy this series. It's just that getting the game is hard. Like, I remember last year I tried bidding for the first game. I got into a price war with it. Like, it was ridiculous. I just gave up. But believe me, I will get to the series at some point. But yeah, as of right now, I have never played the game, so I don't have any favorite characters at the moment. But believe me, I will get to the series eventually. You can count on that. And well, those are all the questions I'm going to answer for today. Thank you guys so much for sending me all your questions. They were so fun to answer. If you didn't get your question answered, don't worry, I will add it in a part 2 video. And if you want to ask me any more questions, just leave them down below in the comment section and I will add them to my list, if you will. I'm sorry about the lighting, it's just that I've been filming this all day and currently it's dark so I have to get my backlights out. So yeah, excuse the lighting changes throughout this video. 
And also, I'm sorry for all the mistakes I'm making when I talk. It's just that I'm still kind of shy talking to the camera, so please bear with me on that. Uh, I'm gonna work on it. Um, with all that said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this, please give it a like, share, and don't forget to subscribe for more gaming goodness coming soon. I'm Decadent Gamer, and have a great day. See ya!